The wheeling machine is a very useful tool, but it's not necessary to own one to create beautiful compound curved parts. Before you can learn the wheel, you have to be able to make parts by hand. All these parts were made entirely by hand without the use of a wheeling machine and all go through the same processes. Cut out blanks from flat material and then form these to shape. Weld all the sections together using oxyacetylene welding. Planish and file the joints, then file and sand to a smooth finish. Ready for painting, polishing or plating. All these parts were created entirely by hand and without the use of a wheeling machine. You don't need to invest thousands in machines to make panels or restore the body of your car. All you need are a few hand tools and some know-how. You can create flanges and curved flanges. It's easy to shrink and stretch flanges without a machine. And you can make any radius or swage without using any machines. Creating a curved radius is also a simple technique to learn. Professional looking swages and details can be reproduced with a minimum of equipment. Just about anything is possible using age old skills and techniques. Bodywork Restoration Tutorial is a complete course on DVD which will enable you to make and fit repair sections or even complete panels. Everything is explained clearly and close up shots and animations allow you to get a far better understanding than would be possible in the workshop situation. I'm now going to show you double curvature repair. I'm going to repair the lower section of this which as you can see is rotted away. There's a um, great big chunk of this in there and it's corroded basically along there so I shall make a new section for that. This is a piece that's actually fallen out of there and uh, I shall obviously have to take that into account when I make the new section. It's a leather bag filled with sand and uh, it's actually used for creating the double curve. Working on the inside of the panel, I'll hollow that area out. This is a hollowing hammer, it's used for hollowing out as the name implies and it has a very high crown domed head to the hammer. You can see it's beginning to take on the shape of the panel. You can actually see the double curvature beginning to form. And there is some distortion but that will all dress out. There's a dent here which was there prior to the repair being carried out, but that will dress out. You need to concentrate on the area of the weld because obviously all the distortion actually hinges from the weld. So I've planched all across the weld. I use my hands and my eyes just to check the shape of the panel. Look along the panel, run your hands along the panel. Your fingers should be slightly spread. Hold palm of your hand and your fingers on the panel and run it along and you'll feel any distortion in the panel. This area here where it was damaged before is actually overstretched. So I'll have to heat shrink that area to bring it down flat and flush with the rest of the panel. I'll do that now. Having filed that and dressed it, I filed it in several directions and dressed it each time. It's pretty smooth now. Pick one more file just to pick up any remaining dwells. We'll uh, do it.
The panel was given a wet coat of primer and no other preparation was done to it. This is the finish you can achieve using these techniques. The area at the rear of the repair will be lead loaded. There are chapters on MIG, TIG and gas welding, lead loading, wire edging, metal finishing, making patterns and much more.